already, my king. Tell me, Danakis, have you ever gone fishing with your son? No, never. A soldier's life is all I've had the honor to know. I would have liked to have gone fishing with my son. Spartans! Every breath that you have taken has led you to this moment. Every drop of blood, sweat, and tear, all of it has led to where you stand right now. The Persians come to make slaves of us all. I have a better idea. I say we drench the gods with their blood! What say you, Spartans? For our sons! For our daughters! For Sparta!
Vengeance is your head! Xerxes sends his sheep to slaughter. Come, Persian! I will bring Xerxes your head, you insolent Spartan fool! Come and get it! Your bloodline ends today, Spartan! I'll get drunk on your blood as the crows feed on your eyes! You will fly, and you will fail! Xerxes is the king of kings! All will bow before him after I crush you! Come, fool! Enough talk! Time to die! My son is more of a warrior than you! Once I'm done with you, king, Sparta's sons will be slaves for Xerxes! Sparta's sons would rather die! <laughs> that can be arranged! Not so tough without your own! No match for a Spartan! We are betrayed, my king. Xerxes knows of the path behind the mountain. They are coming. <laughs> By dawn, you will be completely surrounded. We are Spartans. When are we not? Spartans. That word will mean nothing. And Xerxes wipes your bloodline from the face of you. Today was a day the Persians will never forget. Tomorrow is a day the world will remember. Finally. Wow, this is big, Layla. Did you really think it's the spear? This is the one. The book was almost right on top of it. I've never been so lucky in my life. Okay, let's start her up. Are you sure we can trust this thing? I mean, the book could be... Just start it, Victoria. You're the boss, boss. I'll prep it for you. Okay, so worth noting, I've made some changes since you were last in here. <laughs> There's no keeping up with the tech industry these days. I can crank up the simulation to maximum sensory synchronization if you're up for it. Let's take this one step at a time. Understood. If you're looking for something a little more intense, I can always adjust the settings for you later. This bit will let me know how much information will be fed to you during your time in the Animus. Give me as much information as you got. There's no way I'm going in there without some guidance. Glad to help. You can always change your mind later. Listen, Layla, before you go off, if this book is right, this fear, this story, it will change everything. You're putting a lot of faith in a fairly unreliable source. Historian or not, this guy wrote about magical objects and the will of the gods. He's not Homer. 
Herodotus was the first recorded historian, so there's a lot more truth in that text than you think. I mean, what better way is there of finding Isu artifacts than by trusting in the guy who claimed to meet an actual descendant? I know, but... I need you to trust me. You could be right. This spear, this book, it could all be crap. But something tells me it isn't, and I'm certainly not gonna let Abstergo find out first. You're right. We haven't got much to lose anyway. There's just one small problem. What is it? This manuscript is in rough condition, to say the least. The DNA found on the spear has identified two different individuals. You're gonna have to pick which strand of DNA to pursue. The choice is yours. He will lead us down the right path, I'm sure. All right, boss. We're finally good to go. 431 BCE, here we come! The start of Peloponnesian War. Good luck in there. No pressure or anything, but we're all depending on you. Abstergo isn't gonna win this time. If what the book says is true and we do actually find the artifact, the assassins will finally have a chance to rise again. You can do it! Oh, and Victoria? Read the book. It holds the secrets I won't be able to find on my own when I'm in there. Aye, aye, Captain. Get down here! Cyclops got a message for you. <clears throat> Tell your boss he can stick it. That's for last week! <clears throat> Malaka! The Cyclops said you like to act tough. So act tough! Get a little closer and I will. You should know by now. The Cyclops always collects his debts. You have a lesson to learn. If the Cyclops wants to teach, tell him to come here himself. Never mess with the Cyclops! Last week? <laughs> this shit happens every week. <sighs> I can't keep doing this. <whistles> nah. Thanks for the warning. Ah. <sighs> What happened to you? It's nothing, Phoebe. All taken care of now. The Cyclops again, huh? 
Hasn't he learned his lesson yet? Apparently not. Of course. Help yourself. You hungry too, Icarus? <laughs> Do you think Zeus will bless me with an eagle like he blessed you, Alexios? Maybe you could ask him for me. I'll try to put in a good word for you. Finally. So, what are you doing here? Oh, I almost forgot. Marcos is looking for you. Uh, what does that weasel want now? Don't know. He wants you to meet him at his new house. On his vineyard. Wait, what? A vineyard? Malaka! It's on the road to Sami. He says wine will make him rich. Well, I guess I owe Marcos a little visit. Thank you, Phoebe. <coughs> I'll go tell Marcos you're coming. Fun's over. Tell that one-eyed freak, if he sends you here again, I'm going to cut his other eye out and feed it to my bird. I'll see Marcos as soon as I'm dressed. I'll have to go up top to get dressed. Let's get this on.